The ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup is an international cricket tournament organised by the International Cricket Council contested by national under-19 teams. First contested in 1988, as the Youth World Cup, it was not staged again until 1998. Since then, the World Cup has been held as a biennial event, organised by the ICC. The first edition of the tournament had only eight participants, but every subsequent edition has included 16 teams. India, the current champions, has won the World Cup four times which is the highest amongst all teams, while Australia has won thrice, Pakistan twice and England, South Africa, and the West Indies once each. Two other teams, New Zealand and Sri Lanka, have made it to tournament finals. Topic Results Topic History Topic Nineteen Eighty Eight Winner Australia The inaugural event was titled the McDonald's Bicentennial Youth World Cup, and was held in 1988 as part of the Australian Bicentenary Celebrations. It took place in South Australia and Victoria. Teams from the seven test-playing nations, as well as an ICC Associates eleven, competed in a round-robin format. Australia lost only one match, their final round-robin game against Pakistan by which time they had qualified for the semis. They went on to beat Pakistan by five wickets in the final, thanks to an unbeaten hundred from Brett Williams. England and West Indies made up the last four, but India were the real disappointments. After opening with a good win against England, they suffered hefty defeats in four matches to be knocked out early. The tournament was notable for the number of future international players who competed. Future England captains Nasser Hussain and Mike Atherton played, as did Indian spinner Venkatapathy Rayu, New Zealand all-rounder Chris Cairns, Pakistanis Mushtaq Ahmed and Inzam Mulhak, Sri Lankan Sanath Jayasuriya, and West Indians Brian Lara, Ridley Jacobs, and Jimmy Adams. Australia's Brett Williams was the leading run scorer, with 471 runs at an average of 52.33. Wayne Holdsworth from Australia and Mushtaq Ahmed were the leading wicket takers, with 19 wickets at averages of 12.52 and 16.21 respectively. Topic: 1998 winner England. England were the unexpected winners of the second Under-19 World Cup in South Africa. In 1998, the event was relaunched in South Africa as a biennial tournament. The only previous tournament of its kind was held ten years earlier. In addition to the nine test-playing nations, there were teams from Bangladesh, Kenya, Scotland, Ireland, Denmark, Namibia and Papua New Guinea. The teams were divided into four pools, named after Gavaskar, Sobers, Cowdery and Bradman, and the top two sides from each progressed to two Super League pools, whose winners advanced to the final. In order to give everyone a decent amount of cricket, the non-qualifiers competed in a plate league, won by Bangladesh, who beat West Indies in the final. West Indies failed to qualify for the Super League after a fiasco concerning the composition of their squad. They arrived with seven players who contravened the age restrictions for the tournament. The Super League, in which every game was covered live on South African satellite television, also threw up a number of shocks and tense finishes. Both pools came down to net run rate at the finish. England, from being down and almost out, beat Pakistan, who surprisingly lost all three of their games, but lost a rain affected match to India. Australia had beaten India and Pakistan and were favourites to reach the final. Only a massive defeat by England could deny them, but that is precisely what they suffered. In front of a crowd of about 6,000 at Newlands, they were bowled out for 147. New Zealand joined England in the final, where a century from England's Stephen Peters won the day. Chris Gale was the tournament's leading run scorer, with 364 runs at an average of 72.80. West Indian Ramnaresh Sarwan and Zimbabwean Maluleki Nkala were the leading wicket takers, with 16 wickets at 10.81 and 13.06 respectively. Topic: 
Topic 2000 winner India. The 2000 tournament was held in Sri Lanka and replicated the format from 1998. Participating nations included the nine test playing nations, as well as Bangladesh, Kenya, Ireland, Namibia, Holland, Nepal and a combined team from the Americas Development Region. To the disappointment of a large crowd at Colombo's SSC, Sri Lanka fell at the final hurdle in a final dominated by India. The winners remained unbeaten throughout, and destroyed Australia by 170 runs in the semi-final to underline their supremacy. In the other semi-final, Sri Lanka delighted a crowd of 5,000 at goal by beating Pakistan. The fact that three of the four semi-finalists were from Asia and so more attuned to the conditions was coincidental, they played the better cricket and, in Pakistan's case, had a very experienced squad. England, the defending champions, were most disappointing, and they won only one match against a test-playing country, and that a last ball victory over Zimbabwe. South Africa, one of the favourites, were desperately unlucky to be eliminated after three no results gave them three points while Nepal, with four points courtesy of one win over Kenya, went through to the Super League instead. The format of the tournament was as in 1997-98, with four groups of four and then a Super League and final. Graham Smith was the tournament's leading run scorer, with 348 runs at an average of 87.00. Pakistan's Zahid Saeed was the leading wicket-taker, with 15 wickets at 7.60. India's Yuvraj Singh was named Man of the Series. India clinched the title for the first time under the captaincy of Muhammad Kaif. 2002 Winner, Australia The fourth Under-19 World Cup held in New Zealand only confirmed Australia's dominance of the game, and from their opening match, when they obliterated Kenya by 430 runs, through to their comprehensive victory over South Africa in the final, they were never threatened. Participating nations included the ten test-playing nations, plus Canada, Kenya, Namibia, Nepal, Papua New Guinea, and Scotland. Their captain, Cameron White, was singled out for praise for his leadership, and he chipped in with 423 runs at 70.50. And they didn't rely on pace either, playing only two seamers and four slow bowlers, with Xavier Doherty, a slow left armor, leading the wicket takers with 16 at 9.50 and all without a single wide. In contrast, India, the holders, underperformed in their semi final against South Africa, a team they had easily beaten a week or so earlier. They also suffered embarrassing defeats to neighbours Pakistan and Bangladesh. Pakistan, however, provided the main upset when they lost to Nepal by 30 runs, and Nepal also gave England a few uneasy moments. Zimbabwe won the plate competition, with their expected opponents, Bangladesh, beaten in the semi-final by Nepal. Australian Cameron White was the tournament's leading run scorer, with 423 runs at an average of 70.50 and Xavier Doherty was the leading wicket-taker, with 16 wickets at 9.50. Tatenda Taibu, Zimbabwe's captain, was man of the series for his 250 runs and 12 wickets, not to mention his wicket-keeping in between bowling stints. 2004 winner, Pakistan The 2004 tournament was held in Bangladesh. More than 350,000 spectators saw the 54 matches played in the tournament. The finale ended with a close final between the two best teams, West Indies and Pakistan. It was won by Pakistan by 25 runs against West Indies and a 30,000 crowd acclaimed the victorious Pakistanis almost as their own. The players, from the 10 test countries and six other nations, were fated wherever they went, and the appetite for cricket was remarkable, even Zimbabwe v Canada sold out. The shock was the elimination from the main competition of holders Australia, bowled out for 73 and beaten by Zimbabwe in the group stage when Tanashe Punyangara took 6 for 31, the second best figures in the competition's history. And Australia then lost to Bangladesh in the plate final amid thumping drums and gleeful celebrations. The downside was the quality of the cricket, which was often mediocre on some indifferent pitches, and the reporting of six unidentified bowlers for having suspect actions. 
Pakistan would have finished unbeaten but for a hiccup against England, when both teams had already qualified for the semis. England reached the last four, which was progress, and Alistair Cook looked a class apart. But they came unstuck against West Indies spinners in the semi-final. India completed the semi-finalists. Dewan and Suresh Raina were the backbone of a strong batting lineup, and Raina's 90 from just 38 balls against the hapless Scots was as brutal an innings as one will see at any level. Both looked international class already, though faced with a tough task breaking into their senior side's formidable top order. The captain Ambati Ryudu had been hailed as the next great batting hope, having scored a century and a double in a first-class match at the age of 17. But he did not score the runs promised and was banned by the referee John Morrison from the semi-final after allowing a funereal overrate during the Super League win against Sri Lanka. Eight overs were bowled in the first 50 minutes. India's Shikhar Dewan was named man of the tournament, and was the tournament's leading run scorer, with 505 runs at an average of 84.16. Bangladeshi Anamal Haq was the leading wicket taker, with 22 wickets at 10.18. 2006 winner, Pakistan This tournament was always going to struggle to live up to the overwhelming response that greeted the previous event in Bangladesh. Despite free tickets the matches were sparsely attended even when the home side were in action, but it shouldn't detract from an impressive two weeks which finished with Pakistan securing their second consecutive title in an extraordinary final against India at the Premadasa Stadium. Pakistan crumbled to 109, but in a thrilling passage of play reduced India to 9 for 6. Nazir Jamshid, and Anwar Ali, two of the success stories of the tournament, did the damage and there was no way back for India who fell 38 runs short. These two teams and Australia were the pick of the sides and along with England, who surpassed expectation to reach the semi-finals after beating a talented Bangladesh side, made up the final four. A number of players caught the eye, notably Australia captain Moses Enriquez, the Indian batsman Cheteshwar Pajara, the tournament's leading run scorer, and teammate Rohit Sharma, along with leg spinner Piyush Chawla, who a few weeks later made his test debut against England. However, perhaps the best story of the tournament was Nepal claiming the plate trophy after a thrilling victory against New Zealand having also beaten South Africa during the event. Topic: 2008 winner India. It was the first time the tournament was held in an associate member country. The 2008 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in Malaysia from the 17th of February to the 2nd of March 2008. Along with hosts, 15 other teams battled in 44 matches packed into 15 days across three cities. India, still smarting from the loss in the previous edition had reason to be upbeat with Tanmay Srivastava, a mature batsman who eventually finished as the tournament's leading run-getter, in their ranks. Australia and England had forgettable campaigns, coming up short against the big teams after making mincemeat of the minnows. Defending champions Pakistan were fortuitous to reach the semi-finals as their batsmen never really got going and, against South Africa in the semi-finals, their luck finally ran out while chasing 261. New Zealand, boosted by man of the tournament Tim Southey, were impressive before losing to India in a narrow run chase under lights and cloudy skies in the other semi-final. South Africa's captain Wayne Parnell had played a major role in ensuring their passage to the summit clash, picking up the most wickets in the tournament en route. But they had lost to India in the group stages and Lightning did strike twice. India under the leadership of Virat Kohli now India captain, after being bowled out for 159, emerged triumphant by 12 runs under the D.L. method and were crowned champions for the second time. 2010 winner, Australia The 2010 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in New Zealand in January 2010. The tournament was hosted in New Zealand after the ICC took it away from Kenya on the flimsiest of reasons which ridiculed its own mission to spread the game. 
Kenya were further kicked by the ICC as their side was not allowed to participate as it had not won the African qualifying event, a weakened side had been fielded as at the time, as hosts, they did not need to qualify. As it was, New Zealand did a decent job but crowds were dismal and the group stages were as tediously predictable as in the senior tournament, with the better funded big nations dominating. South Africa did beat Australia in a good match but a dead rubber. The competition came alive in the quarter-finals as West Indies beat England and Sri Lanka defeated South Africa. The best tie of the competition came when Pakistan beat fierce rivals India by two wickets with three balls remaining in a low-scoring match. The final between Australia and Pakistan was a rematch of the first tournament, and Australia won by 25 runs in a game where fortunes ebbed and flowed throughout. 2012 Winner, India. The 2012 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in the Tony Island Stadium, Australia. Along with the ten test-playing nations, Afghanistan, Nepal, Papua New Guinea, Ireland, Scotland and Namibia also participated in this tournament. Australia lost against India in the final on 26 August 2012. India's third U19 World Cup meant they tied for the most wins with Australia. Sri Lanka could not go through into the last eight but won the plate championship by defeating Afghanistan by seven wickets. Rhys Topley of England was the highest wicket taker whereas Animal Hack of Bangladesh was the top run getter. India won the final against Australia with 14 balls to spare and six wickets remaining. Captain Unmuk Chand played a match-winning knock of 111 asterisk not out in 130 balls with the help of six sixes and seven fours. Sandeep Sharma also excelled with four wickets under his belt. Topic 2014 Winner, South Africa The 2014 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in Dubai, UAE, in 2014. It was the first time that UAE had hosted an ICC event. Afghanistan was the only non-full member to qualify for the quarter-finals. This was the first time that Afghanistan reached the last eight of this tournament, courtesy of their stellar performance against Australia in the group stage. In fact, this was the second time that a non-test playing nation qualified for the Super League quarter-finals, Nepal being the first one in the 2000 edition. India wobbled in the quarter-finals against England and finally lost in the final over. This was the first semi-final berth for England in the last four editions. Pakistan beat England in the semis to reach its fifth under-19 final, becoming the first team to do so. South Africa beat Australia in the second semi-final. In a one-sided final, South Africa beat Pakistan and claimed its maiden U19 World Cup title. Corbin Bosch, son of former South African cricketer late Tertius Bosch, was the man of the match in the finals and Aidan Markram was the man of the series. South Africa did not lose even a single match in the entire tournament. 2016 Winner, West Indies The 2016 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in Bangladesh. It was the 11th edition of the Under-19 World Cup, and the second to be held in Bangladesh. On 5 January 2016, Australia announced that the Australian squad had pulled out of the tournament, citing security reasons. Defending champions South Africa were knocked out of the tournament in the group stage, with back-to-back -back defeats to Bangladesh and Namibia. This was the first time that two non-test playing nations, Nepal and Namibia, qualified for the Super League quarterfinals. The West Indies defeated India by five wickets in the final, claiming their first title. Bangladesh's captain Mahedi Hassan was named player of the tournament, while England's Jack Burnham and Namibia's Fritz Kutsi led the tournament in runs and wickets, respectively. 2018 Winner, India The 2018 Under-19 Cricket World Cup was held in New Zealand. India and Australia played in the finals at Mount Maunganui on February 3, 2018. It was the 12th edition of the Under-19 World Cup. 
India defeated Australia by eight wickets, with Manjot Kalra scoring a match winning 101 asterisk. The man of the match was awarded to Manjot Kalra, while player of the tournament was awarded to Shubman Gill. India now holds the most wins record in under-19 World Cup. Topic: <laughs> Summary of all teams in all tournaments. In the table below, teams are sorted by best performance, then winning percentage, then if equal by alphabetical order. Note: the win percentage excludes no results and counts ties as half a win. Topic: <laughs> Team result by tournament. Topic: <laughs> Records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Team records. Highest team totals: 486, 50 overs, Australia versus. Kenya, the 20th of January 2002. 436 quarters, 50 overs, New Zealand versus Kenya, the 17th of January 2018. 425 thirds, 50 overs, India versus Scotland, the 16th of February 2004. Lowest team totals: 22, 22.3 overs, Scotland versus Australia, the 22nd of February 2004. 41 28.4 overs Canada versus South Africa the 25th of January 2002 41 11.4 overs Bangladesh versus South Africa the 24th of February 2008 most consecutive wins 9 Australia 2002 to 2004 8 India 2000 to 2002, 2008 to 2010, 2012 to 2014, Bangladesh 2004 to 2006, Pakistan 2006 to 2008, Australia 2010 to 2012 most consecutive losses 21 Papua New Guinea 1998 to 2008, 16 Papua New Guinea 2012 present, 11 Namibia 2008 to 2014. 10 Canada 2002 to 2004 Topic Individual records Most appearances 20 Kanishka Chorgai 2002 to 2006 19 Stefan Swainpool 1998 to 2002 Greg Thompson 2004 to 2008 18 Moni Bikbal, 2002 to 2006; Hashmatullah Shahidi, 2010 to 2014; most career runs 606; Owen Morgan, 2004 to 2006; 585 Baba Azam, 2010 to 2012; 566 Safaraz Khan, 2014 to 2016; 548 Craig Braithwaite, 2010 to 2012. 537 Kanishka Chorgai, 2002 to 2006 most runs in a single tournament 505 Shikhar Dewan, 2004 471 Brett Williams 1988 423 Cameron White 2002 421 Donovan Pagan 2002 420 Jack Burnham 2016 highest individual scores 191 152 balls Hasatha Boyagoda versus Kenya the 23rd of January 2018 180 144 balls Jakob Bula versus Kenya the 17th of January 2018 176 129 balls Donovan Pagan versus Scotland, the 21st of January 2002. 174, 150 balls. Daniel Lawrence versus Fiji, the 27th of January 2016. 166, 137 balls. Keegan Simmons versus Canada, the 26th of January 2018. Best batting partnerships by wicket: 245. Jakob Bula and Rachin Ravindra versus. 
Kenya, the 17th of January 2018. 303 Daniel Lawrence and Jack Burnham versus Fiji, the 27th of January 2016. 175 Asterisk Abe Jan Mohammed and Thomas Adoyo versus Scotland, the 12th of January 1998. 212 Cameron White and Dan Christian versus Scotland, the 25th of January 2002. 157 Shama Springer and JYD Gooley versus Fiji, the 31st of January 2016. 164 Umair Masood and Salman Fayaz versus West Indies, the 8th of February 2016. 119 Alec Athanes and NYEM Young versus Kenya, the 20th of January 2018. 102 Asterisk Ajaz Nawaz and Frank Nymon versus Americas, the 23rd of January 2000. 136 Nicholas Poran and Jerome Jones versus Australia, the 23rd of February 2014. 73 Asterisk Stephen Eno and Timothy Mou versus Afghanistan, the 24th of January 2010. Most career wickets: 27. Moses Enriquez, 2004 to 2006. Greg Thompson, 2004 to 2008. 26. Abhishek Sharma, 2002 to 2004. 25. Tim Bresnan, 2002 to 2004. 23. Paris Kadka, 2004 to 2008. Wayne Parnell, 2006 to 2008. Rahul Vishwakarma, 2008 to 2012. Raymond Hayoda, 2010 to 2012. Most wickets in a single tournament: 22. Enamel Hack, 2004. 19. Wayne Holdsworth, 1988. Mushtaq Ahmed, 1988. Riaz Afridi, 2004. Reese Topley, 2012. 18 Tariq Mahmood, 2004, Wayne Parnell, 2008 Best Bowling Figures 8 35ths, 9.4 overs. Lloyd Pope, vs. England, 23 January 2018. 7 15ths, 6.5 overs, Jason Ralston, vs. Papua New Guinea, 19 January 2018. 7 19ths, 9.2 overs, Giwan Mendes, vs. Zimbabwe, the 24th of January 2002. 7 twentieths, 8.1 overs. Trent Bolt versus Malaysia, the 21st of February 2008. 6 thirds, 6.2 overs. Rahul Vishwakarma versus Papua New Guinea, the 23rd of August 2012. Oldest players, 23 years, 312 days. Thomas Nielsen versus Namibia, the 22nd of January 1998. 21 years, 131 days, Chris Alu, vs. Kenya, the 22nd of January 1998. 21 years, 51 days, Sam Skeet, vs. Pakistan, the 10th of March 1988. Note, age restrictions were relaxed for some teams at the early editions of the tournament. Topic <laughs> by tournament. equals equals notes